Objective 414.3 Identify and use mechanically held latching relay. Explain how these lighting contactors are used with a building automation system. Frequently, a building automation system utilizes lighting contactors to control lighting loads in areas remote from system controllers, for example, parking lot lighting. Although electrically held contactors could be used, Mechanically held contactors have several advantages. The coil of a mechanically held contactor is energized only when latching and unlatching. Therefore, they emit no magnetic hum, making them ideal for applications where quiet, energy efficient operation is required. Since these contactors are latched into a closed position, they'll not switch to an off position during power failure of the control circuit. On the bench, we have an Eaton C30CNM mechanically held contactor. Looking at this contactor, we see we have power pos poles at positions one and two. Now these are double pole power poles. Six positions means that a maximum of 12 power poles can be used when you install them on the base. You can either install these as normally open or normally closed depending upon what position you install them on the base. These contactors also come with one set of auxiliary contacts. They can be added to either side of the base. When added to the left side of the base, they become normally open contacts. When added to the right side, they function as normally closed contacts. And you see here that they're installed in the normally closed slot on the right side of the control module. Now, if need be, you can convert this mechanically held contactor to an electrically held one by installing the proper control module kit available from the manufacturer. Control module kits are available for both two wire and three wire controls. You also need to choose your control voltage for the coil. And here, this coil is a 115, 120 volt coil. Now, we'll follow the manufacturer's schematic to wire the two wire control for our functions. Now we have a handoff auto switch here on the bench. When we switch this to hand, the control supply input over here is switched on at P2 on the contactor. After this is commanded on, it's sensed by the microcontroller of the electronic control module to ensure it's a 50 or 60 hertz signal. Then the status of the contactor is sensed through the normally closed auxiliary contact. This is done in order to validate that the contactor is ready to be switched on. After validating the input signal, the controller fires a triac for 60 milliseconds, which in turn energizes the coil. The contactor operates, latches to the on position. Now the normally closed auxiliary contact has changed its state, so any additional on command will not be responded to by the electronic control module. When the hand is switched off, the module senses the loss of power supply and sends out another 60 millisecond pulse to energize the coil. This makes the contactor delatch and the contactor switches off. Using the auto function of the handoff auto switch, we're incorporating a programmable logic relay. This demonstrates how the building automation system can work with a mechanical latching, latching contactor. Now I've programmed this PLR to switch to on after a five second delay when the, when the auto switch is on. This illustrates how BAS control a lighting contactor if an internal schedule is programmed into the PLR.